So this is my second attempt at a lake-based garden. The first one, I just put pots in the lake and I anchored them down, but I didn't build a berm. Here you can see Frankenberm. It is not the prettiest berm. All of these rocks were existing in the lake. The previous owner of the home had put them there. So I harvested the rocks from the lake and created an area that would provide sanctuary from the waves so that I could get roots established on things like pickler weed and the water willow. You can see, you can see my shadow here, and you can see how dense, how turbid that water is. I'll hold it here so you can see both. Look how clear that water is. So yesterday was a super busy day on the lake. It was Labor Day and it was really busy and yet the water is still settled out. This gives me great hope. I am very optimistic about um, what I see here. And in fact, it is so clear, I think I'm going to continue to plant this area too, right in here. Um, this little rock here, there's about a 12 inch uh, gap back there that's about as tall as a brick. So there's a small habitat right in there. And then, you know, obviously each of these is going to provide habitat. That's riprap, habitat for fish and snakes and uh, frogs and all kinds of stuff like that that go in there. Um, this took a lot of work. That's not going to lie. This took a whole weekend. You can see they're starting to bloom already. We've got three lilies. One, two, three. The lilies are probably going to take up this whole area. And I know that. So I, I wanted to put something that would grow a little bit taller as well. So I have some water willow. One, two, three. You can kind of see the water willow right back there. He's a little close to the lily. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. But, you know, it's an experiment. We're trying it. There's a water willow, water willow. Uh, you can also see the pots. I planted the pots and I anchored the pots down. This was uh, what was advised to me by Texas Parks and Wildlife. Um, they said that if you try and plant the roots, you're going to mash them. Speaking of roots, you can't really see it. But this lily has roots that run out. Well, you can kind of see them right there. There's white roots. So what I did is I got a stake and I staked down the roots right there so that hopefully those roots will anchor into the uh, soil. I mean, just look how clear that water is. That didn't happen in Lake Houston. Look, this is Lake Houston water. And actually, this is pretty clear Lake Houston water. Look at that. That's totally different. So very excited about the results. Um, and the lilies are starting to bloom. That's pretty cool. This guy here, I can never remember what it's called. Someone told me what it's called one time. It's basically like cattails, but it doesn't get the fuzzy ends to them. You see how long it gets. Uh, this plant allegedly will get as big as an SUV, which is the reason it's on the edge here. My property line is right there, right there where the stake is. So it's you know pretty close to the property line. I want it to go this way. Um, over here we have pickler weed. I've got quite a bit of pickler weed over here. And uh, we have some water willow over here as well. Um, water willow, water willow, water willow. I'm going to put more water willow in here. I, there's six of them in here, but we could easily fill. Oh gosh, I could easily fill another six in right here. Water willows. So we, we're definitely going. I'm definitely going to add some more, but it's just not there yet. Um, and you know those channels right here are designed to allow minnows in here. I haven't seen, I mean, we have seen minnows in here, but I haven't seen minnows living in here yet. Maybe they're hidden, maybe they're under the plants, but I would think I'd see some sort of activity over here. Also notice how this is just a little bit murky, and then this over here is very, very clean. The current comes from this direction right here. The current comes from the San Jacinto River, one of the major rivers in Texas, and comes right here, which is one of the reasons we have these big deflector rocks right here, big ones. And another big deflector rock because when storms come out of the south, they come this way. And we have a couple big deflector rocks right there too. It seems to be working. Obviously, you can see the water temperature, but when there were bigger waves, it was um, much, much easier to see. We plugged up. There were holes coming in. You know, waves were coming over the side here and coming in right here. I got some bricks and plugged those guys. And it is really looking calm in here. I'm surprised at how calm it looks. So this is the start. Uh, this is day two of the water garden and the first day after Labor Day. So I can't believe how clear it is in there. 
uh, good things to come. Exciting.